hold it. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the tea. Mm-mm. It's Gary, baby. Six minutes after the top of the hour, Gary with the tea. Who you going to be gossiping about right now? <laughs> Good morning, Rock T. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity <laughs> news, y'all. Wendy Williams, y'all. It's being reported that Wendy Williams is not on board, y'all, with the court order guardianship. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Wendy Williams is not on board with the new development. According to page six, they're saying that Ms. Williams isn't happy with a court appointing her a financial guardian amid of her lawsuit against Wells Fargo. Now, an attorney for the How You Doing host told page six in a statement Friday that Williams doesn't want anyone but her to have control of her money in response to the son's report about her and a judge's decision to appoint a guardian. She's a pro... Please be advised that Wendy is not in agreement with the appointment of a financial guardian by the court. Wendy has been very clear that she does not want a financial guardian to tell her what she can and cannot do with her millions. They're saying, y'all, that honey also is added that the talk show host feels that she is capable of hiring her own team who would work for her and not the court, unquote. Why do they think she needs somebody? Because, you know, she's been going through, you know, issues. And so she hasn't been on a show here in almost a year. What does that have to do with the money that she's earned and is entitled to and her discretion on spending it? I don't understand. Well, it's called Britney Spears. Somebody being greedy. Exactly. And somebody feeling like they could say that she's not uh, stable enough and they can try to get a hold of it and control it and if maybe ration enough. something out to themselves. But the Britney Spears thing was a conservatorship over her mental state. Now, a parent, supposedly her old financial advisor says that she was being taken advantage of while she was going through her medical issues but now that she obviously is sane lucid and right. can make her own decisions i don't understand why it's even a question i don't know if she all that because when uh, she did uh, well, that interview with what's his name joe. with jump fat joe honey it did not seem right she was a little you know kind of yeah you know, I, I wish they would have kept it a little short uh, yeah so she could have said a little bit and, and then gone done. and got off yeah, well, but this, as, it's Bobby Brown, my prerogative. You could do what you want to do. That's her money. So uh-huh. she wants to go spend it on Birkin. So if you're crazy, you're not allowed to have right. money? Right. No, you're not. If you got that kind of damn money that Wendy Williams got. And, and I'm not saying she is. I'm saying if but, you have a mental yeah, but deficiency, if she's not, you're not allowed to have money that you, you earn. You shouldn't. No, you Why not? not? Because it's your money. Your, it's your money, but you've been and gave that money. Some, so what? Just you can do that. You, you can no, burn man. it. But you can so, set it on fire in your driveway so if you want. So what I'm hearing is somebody is trying to possibly protect her. Yes. But, but she, who is this somebody? That's what we thought but initially. But is this somebody that she appointed? No. Yes. Oh. So it's like me saying, you know what? Brat acting real crazy. I, the way she's acting is not how she used to act. So let me go over here to her bank to let them know that I don't know how she's spending her money. Like, I should not be allowed to do, even if you are spending it frivolously, like, that. I should not be allowed well, to do that. Somebody approved this person to be able to do that. Exactly. It just didn't happen overnight. The court did an injunction. Remember when y'all first did the story? The yeah. court decided well, uh, she didn't ask for it to be done. The court put an order and well, put someone in charge. God for the courts, because if I'm out of my mind and I have millions of dollars, honey, and something wrong with me, and y'all see something wrong with me, and you think I'm gonna take my damn money and just spend it with all of y'all? She and just is throw not it out, out of there. her mind. Well, she ain't in it enough where she should be able to handle her money. She was at the after party for the Met Gala in sneakers yeah. and a gown. Yeah, because she was being guided, honey. Um, with what's his name? Jason Lee had her with him, honey. So, no, ma'am. I just get real nervous when money. you start talking about bringing in some other person to manage somebody's well, money. Love- yes. That's not, I've, if, they, if she's not incapacitated, to where she can just cannot make normal decisions, then I don't but feel like nobody has a right to do that. I think it's fair that she does have somebody, but it's somebody she trusts and knows who genuinely loves her, like her son. Like, why didn't her did this yeah. go to her? But son? it's it's when it comes to a financial advisor. Ricky talks about it all the time. It's your discretion. If you want somebody to do your taxes, if you want to have a CPA, then go right ahead. If you want to do them yourself, then go right ahead. I don't think it is a requirement. I think it is wise to have someone that you know knows what they're doing. But you don't have to. You can spend your money frivolously mm-hmm. if you. would like. No, ma'am. If my mind ain't right here, I don't want <laughs> my money spent right. Because no, once ma'am. I come back into my right mind, honey, I need my money right there. So, but if I'm spending when I'm not in my damn right mind, and then we when I come back, I'm looking crazy. We let you spend your money, Gary. Do what? We let you spend your money every oh, day. But you right would feel mind. better if you would appoint the person. That's what yeah. I think. I well, think if I can appoint the person, if I go crazy, I need to have some road up, something happen to me, or I get incapacitated, whatever you call it, then Gary going to handle my money. Not somebody just out of the blue just going to stop I the press I'll on my money. I think I'll handle Brad's money today. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Power of Attorney. 
Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, so there you go. So, so, In harmony. Yeah, so, so, so power of attorney. Well, we don't know who a power of but honey, don't let that girl just spend her money out there. Chris, I never forget when I had my damn first breakdown, honey, I was going down the parking lot just giving away just my giving dog away on money. jewelry and stuff like that. And I didn't know what I was oh, doing. Oh, you knew you was so, broke down, baby, because you yeah. check your bank account every day. I sure <laughs> do. So, honey, uh-uh, baby, y'all talking about, y'all hmm, talking about no bad, please, honey. I'm glad Wendy got somebody looking over her money. And look at the person who ain't got no money. The man went high about to let you spend your money. But anyway. That's Wait a minute. <laughs> I have a net worth in the cash? high four figures. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1000 <000. laughs> Right. I mean, at best, you had 9999 9, no, I ain't say it was that high. I just said you, it was you don't even get flagged for a deposit. In the mid four figures. <laughs> Child, please, honey. Be, What's your other story, Gary? Yeah, they just told me to go to color, honey. The color today, honey, is one of my favorite color. My color today, I sparkling banana. On the hand, you say sparkling banana, and on the lunch, you say beautiful yellow. That's the color for the day. You honey. got All excited the, about that one, didn't you, Gary? All the, well, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all giving it for Gary with the two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So uh, President Biden says everybody should be concerned about the spread of monkey pox. And we're going to find out exactly what it's all about, how concerned we should be. Dr. MJ Carrier joins us next, and he's taking your calls. So hit us up at 866-9-RICKY, and we'll talk to him next on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.